welcome back to the channel. This is Sandy here and today I am going to be doing just a little bit of a facelift to my guest's bedroom. This is not going to be a lot at all, but this is the current state of it and I just want to show basically have minimal things on the wall um, and I'm not going to be, this is going to be a no spin update as well. I don't have anything on top of the armoire. It's just pretty basic, nothing on the table there. Very, very basic. So what I'm going to do is to just kind of zhuzh it up just a little bit to make it a little bit wel more welcome for uh, my guests. And I said no spin, minimal spin, I should have said. I did pick up a couple items from the Dollar Tree that I'll incorporate in here. But if you're interested in seeing what that's all about, just keep watching. So I had picked these two baskets up some time ago at the uh, Blue Tag sale at Old Time Pottery. And I think they were 75% off. So this had originally been $8.99. And this one had originally been $17.99, but they were like 75% off, maybe even more than that, not sure. But I picked them up and never had done anything with them so now it's time to put them to use for the guest bedroom so i went to dollar tree and picked up some little items to go into the smaller basket so the intent is to do like a little welcome basket for one of them so i've got some um of this tissue paper and i'll just kind of put that down in here just to line it to try to make it somewhat special and there's a mixture of things that I picked up I picked up some candies I picked up this little uh, sleeper mask and then a toothbrush and some toothpaste so just a little little welcome gift that a lot of times when people travel they sometimes forget those things or they're at your home and they wake up during the middle of the night and they want a little snack or something just thought this would be a nice little touch for this basket so I'll work on arranging that and I'll be back on all right for the larger basket I decided to do some guest towels so I like to keep guest towels separate from my day-to-day -day towels so that when you have guests you have some nice fresh towels that are not used you know throughout your everyday living. So that's what I'm putting in here to kind of keep these separated out. And I just took a piece of tool um, that I actually picked up at the end of the season from, um, I think it was from Hobby Lobby when they had it 90% off. And I just tied a little bow around it. I don't know if it shows up because it is white tool, but it has a little bit of glitter on here. So just for a little extra touch. So I'll keep these towels in here in the basket. So when I have guests, they will have their own towels already here. I won't have to worry about, you know, pulling out towels and um, they'll be all set. So on top of this dresser chest, I just had a single flower here. Um, but for some reason, because it's high up, it sits, I don't know if I can get the angle, but it's, you know, just for you to see it's high up. So it doesn't really stand out. I'm going to remove it. And I found another one, not much bigger, but for some reason it seems to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to use that in the space. I just shot my home from that. I had that in, actually that was in my office. So I'm going to put that one in there and then see what else I can put up here just to try to make it look a little less plain. Okay, so this is the room all put together. I just put the small basket with the little goodies right at the foot of the bed there. I added some pictures up there and they're small. <clears throat> I definitely could have used some larger pictures, but I was shopping my home for this. I already had these. These were some pictures I had from, um, I think I got them from Family Dollar a long, long time ago and they've just been packed away. So I added those. I already had these three little pictures on this side. So I just added those just to have a little bit of something on the wall so it won't look so plain. This is all temporary. One day, hopefully, I'll be able to get some real artwork in here. But for now, I think it's okay. Um, on top of the dresser, chest, or whatever, I put my little DIY, which is where I will provide my guests with our Wi-Fi 
information. And of course, this is just a Dollar Tree frame with some um, diamond wrap around it. And then I've typed that out. Um, that's not my real password and everything, but I'll switch that out. This was just for demonstration purposes. Um, that love sign, it actually has love on one side, live and laugh. I shopped that from another part of my home. And I have my little Eiffel Tower up there. And then I have on this table, I just put another little DIY that's from the Dollar Tree. And that was my first attempt at trying to do the um, Coco Chanel inspired candle where I just printed this off the internet and I put some of the, the Dollar Tree bubble wrap around the candle and put it in this little vase that I already had. So that's just a nice little touch for beside the bed. And then the tray that I prepared, the tray, the basket that I prepared with the tiles with the little tool around it is right here. Um, so that is the final look of the room. I think, you know, it's, it added to it. It's better than it was. It's not as plain. It didn't cost a lot. And that was the whole intent of this is just to show that you can do just a little bit just to make your guests feel, feel special without breaking the bank. And so that's what I've done. Dollar Tree goodies here in this little um, basket and the little Dollar Tree DIY there and the little Dollar Tree DIY there. Just ever so small little touches that I think will make a big difference in my guest experience, hopefully. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this inspired you to do something like this the next time you're expecting guests in your home to make them feel special. And that was the intent. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you stop back by here again next time to see what I'm doing. Bye-bye. Project, I just needed a frame which is from the Dollar Tree and then I have some of the diamond adhesive wrap and a pair of scissors. Um, I'm also going to have a piece of paper that I'm going to type something in here and I'll show you how I uh, do the DIY piece of it. So let's get started. Okay, so I am going to do about four four rows here on the diamond wrap. Okay, so I have the strip here. And then I'm just going to this. I'm going to do it all the way to the end and it's going to overlap on the edges. I think that'll be fine because that's what I did with my mirror that I did. So hopefully it'll work out okay. So I'm going to cut off the excess here. Right here. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. And hopefully it'll stick and I won't have to add a little bit of glue to it. Try to get it centered. All right. The other side. This is a very, very, very easy thing. And I'm just going to use the piece that I'd already cut as my guide for this one. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and put that on. And then I'll be right back. Peeled one piece of it 
off and I'll just unpeel it as I'm going around and pressing it with my other hand so that I don't have any lumps in it. So as you can see, I'm just pulling it and going like so. And then I'm going to clip the end here. I'm at the end so that I don't have any overlap, but that's what it looks like. Totally different candle. And um, this was less than $2 because I used this. This was a dollar and I've used it for another project and the candle was a dollar. So $2, I have completely changed the look. And like I said, I am not a DIY person, so I'm very pleased when I can do even the simplest of, of projects. <laughs> That's okay, just a little bit of overlap, but that'll just, I'll just turn that to the back. So that's what it looks like. And I'm going to pair it with this little candle holder that I picked up from Ross. But that's what it looks like. It totally improved the look here, right? So if you look at this one that I have like this, that looks nice, right? But this just took it up a level, in my opinion. 